Hey guys, Local John 1812. Where's your name, John? Did you kill six? <laughs> A little bit late there. But we are at Wesselman's Nature Center today, and we are in a turtle shell. Uh, it's not an actual real one, but it kind of gives you a glimpse of what they would look like if it was real and gigantic. But the reason why we're at Wesselman Nature Center today, because they actually have a new thing called Wesselman's uh, Playscape. Is that correct, camera mom? Mm -hmm. It is over three acres large, this playscape that we're going to show you. And uh, it is the largest in the country. It's one of its kind. It's the only of its kind, I think, that's in existence. Uh, and it has everything from waterfall areas to uh, a mud pit. And we're going to show you those type of things when we go out there and show, uh, go out there and start looking at the playscape. But first, we wanted to show you some stuff in the nature center. So come along with us as we review stuff. Okay, guys. So... There was the turtle show we were in, and this is a box turtle exhibit there. There's one right there, look at it. And he's real, he did his neck for you. <laughs> so you can find all kinds of stuff in the basic uh, nature center here before you even go out to the plague skate. So it's pretty cool. It even shows you some okay. stuff over here, some learning stuff about how to tell the difference between a, step over this side, John, so. Difference between a male, turtle and a female turtle you can look at the bottom of the shells and you can see this one has no little dent invention here and then this one does so it would be on let me here i'll take the camera and show them on that side here you can see the indention here and then this one has no indention so this would be the female and this would be the male here jay is it looking at me jay so those are all kinds of things you can learn at the Westman Nature Center. So let's head on over to the next exhibit or possibly even the escape. We just want to show you some stuff that you can learn. So right back guys. Try again. See, there's a big old log that uh, kids can get into and it kind of shows the habitat of different types of insects and animals. As you can see Jay crawl in there and climb around. What is this one here? It shows the different types of animals that may live in a log. Sorry. Does it show the insects there? I'm trying to have the flash. I saw some roly polies in there yesterday. And if you look up here, every exhibit that you see in the uh, Westman's Nature Center will have a, you know, a diagram showing you what could live in the logs, and it'll have different information on there and stuff like that. There was a turtle in here yesterday. Yeah, the turtle was over there eating the fruit yesterday, so. Maybe he did. I think that's who they, oh, there they are. They're over here in the corner. They done buried themselves. There they are. Well, let's go to the next exhibit, and we need to start heading towards what I think is going to be the fun part. I don't like this one. This one here is a reptile exhibit, I believe, right? Yes. Because you have snakes. There's snakes. There's a snake Ooh. there. Ooh, big no-no. Oh, he's huge. Yep. Why is it my chips glass? Nothing. Stop tapping. They don't Do like tap the glass when you're here. Yeah. It shows the different styles of snakes. What's in here? There's a garter snake in here somewhere. Oh, reach to the top. And then it's pretty cool. Oh, I always thought I was going to fall right here. Yeah. I, I stepped and I thought I was going to fall in there. That's scary. I don't like it. These are oh. fake. These are fake. Don't worry, guys. These, these All are right. fake. So that's some of the stuff you can see inside. You can also see a, it's kind of dark in here, but you oh, can look see the squirrels. Bubba this book. is a bird viewing area. Well, has different was... types of bird I think uh, squirrels feeders and bird houses up. The squirrels are eating the bird stuff. Um, the bird seed, sorry, bird stuff. Bird sorry. seed. <laughs> Trying to focus in there, that way, that way you can see a squirrel. There's bunch a of land. bunch of squirrels out there. Some birds. So this is where you can really get an idea about different Look at birds him just hanging there. and a different view and a different scenery. But this is all just in the regular nature center, guys. We haven't even been to the place, playscape yet. Uh, to get into the Wesselman's nature center playscape area and all that, it is $5 per person. And I think it's well worth it because within the natural uh, Wesselman's nature exhibit plus the playscape feature that we're getting ready to show you here in about a minute or so, 
I think it's worth the five dollars. So he's all wet. <laughs> yeah. You ready? Let's let's head out to the plague game. Let's, okay. Let's head out there. Let's out. So we'll go ahead and pause the video, and we're gonna come right back in, guys. And uh, as soon as you see us again, we'll be at the playscape area. So, all right, guys, we are right back. You record? Mm -hmm. Okay. So when you come out of the regular Westman Nature Center up there and you come outside, you'll see a couple different areas you can go to. Uh, there's a trail area over there. Uh, they have and some a hawk and some oh, owls over there. There's chicken over there. There's a chicken over there. And if you look right here, it even tells you there's a new bird trail, then there's the... Uh, Odonata. Odonata Pond Trail. I don't think but, I'm saying that right. But this is actually where you also go for the play skate. And when they have different events here, this area here is where they had the food trucks and stuff yesterday. And there's a seating area over there so you can eat and have your uh, food and all that. So let's There's a maple walk, sugar shack. Let's walk on down to the uh, trail and when you come back in, you'll actually see the beginning of the play skate. So we are still walking to the playscape, but before we got completely there, I just want to show you, I mean, if you looked around, this is beautiful scenery that you can walk in. Uh, this stuff is pretty well existed for a while. The trails have for Westermans. They've always had beautiful trails, but the playscape's something new. But I just want to show you this beautiful scenery real quick before we get up there. Follow that arrow. There's another trail you could take if you wanted to, and it shows you here mile markers and where you would be going. But we're heading there. Playscape. So here we go. We'll, we'll be right back. So we are finally making it to the point of the actual nature playscape. Uh, like I said earlier, this is three acres large. This is how big this area is, and it's the largest in the country, and actually it might be the one of only nature type play escape, uh, play escape, sorry, play escape, play escapes that you know of in the country. So this is pretty large, and this is the, right here, uh, the Welburn Baptist Foundation is one of the, I tripped over that rock, <laughs> the Welburn Baptist Foundation is one of the uh, primary people that help don donate and make this thing possible and uh, I believe Elaine dire the director here at Westman she deserves a lot of credit too she's a very nice lady and she was really informative yesterday of what we can expect and how much fun we can have Beautiful. okay so we're actually inside the uh, Westman's playscape and this is one of the little Areas I would say it's a seating area. It's got a monument rock here. Uh, it has different types of artifacts or de decorations. Um, and the cool thing about the playscape is that you do not have to stay on a certain trail. There is a trail. If you pan over this way, you can see a. I don't think you can see in there. If you pan over that way, there's a rock, and you can see a trail. You can stay on that trail, or you can come through. Let's just say the woods. Let's say you just want to walk through the woods and do something different. So you can do that. And as we walk through the woods, come on, Bubba. You'll see different things that you can set up yourself, take down. Yesterday there were some teepees set up, and Ooh, there's, some suckle. there's some material right there. Like if you wanted to mess with, move the sticks around, build something out of it. Learn how to make a teepee. Learn how to make a teepee. There's also a tent right here. Or a makeshift makeshift tent that someone could get inside. No, nope. not happening. Not happening. Nope. Why not? I, I'm locked up. I can't get in there. I don't think. I'm too big. Yeah. You could get in there, son. I'm a little too big. Go. Maybe Jay can get in there. But you can come out here, and you can get inside the different, uh, you know, at tents locations that they have. There's even, like we said earlier different materials and stuff that you can use to build things or move things around. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Oh, he's in there. Chief J. I'm going to bed. So, he's going to bed. Um, here, you need a blanket if you're going to go to bed. Yeah, there you, go. you got to cover up oh, your door. It didn't it stay. Put, set it in there on the ground. Set it in there on the ground. 
Lay down. So, like, is this kind of like if you had to live out in the wilderness uh, back then, if you were a Native American or if you were a cowboy or if you're whatever and you happen to live out there, I mean, you might have something like this out in the woods for some type of shelter and you may lay on the ground like that. So, let's head over to uh, the next area I wanted to show them. And when you guys see us again, we'll be right on over in that area. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. And this is another little area here. This is a area of kind of like a stream. It's a stream. It is exact, not kind of like a stream. It is a stream. It has some rocks over there and it flows through flows and even goes way. way up there on top of that mountain area. There are more rocks and stuff to be seen. And you can even walk out this way and you've got more parts to the trail where you could, like I was saying, walk in the woods if you wanted to. And there's a certain object over there I want to show you guys here in a minute. But it is pretty darn cool. There's Camera Mom and Jay sitting in the stream. <laughs> right back. There's no telling what you guys can find out here. We're still at the stream. We were getting ready to walk to the we other area. Tadpoles. She found some tadpoles. And there's this is all open to different wildlife. It, it, it's not just committed to one. They don't keep nothing out. I mean, it's all opened up. And you can find all kinds of stuff in here. So it's pretty cool. She was trying to pick up a tadpole to show you, as if you haven't never seen a tadpole, but it's still pretty unique. So, to just allow the kids to be able to come out here and get into uh, streams and stuff like that and, you know, play and still be in a safe area. So, and to just even show you more of the stream, I, I was going to take you over to the circular wooden area, but to even show you more of the stream, it just keeps going and going. Um, the stream just isn't just that one little area. There's plenty of area for stream, and you can walk across and film different things and do different things and look at the scenic view. And like I said, it's only $5 to get in this place gate per person for the Westman's place gate. It's really cool, really cool. And up here, as we can see, people over there, but that's the whole waterfall area. And that's pretty awesome too. And that hole starts the whole stream going all the way down. And all the way to where camera mom and them were. Way down there. So that's pretty cool guys. And as you're walking you can get back on the trail. Or you can stay walking in the woods. Whatever you'd like to do. Uh, as you can see there's another type of trail you can walk in. You can actually just walk inside. Those little bit of woods there. That they have different little woods, wooded sections that you can get into. And it has like you know different materials up where you can barely make a hammock or like we were talking about earlier the tents stuff like that and it's just a thing of beauty i mean it's just it's real beautiful to see this type of you know beautiful outdoors especially in today's age when most kids uh are probably not outdoors as much as they should be anymore and this is something that they can do there goes a little squirrel running away and here's a here's a sitting area. They have like multiple areas where you can just sit. You can do something. Oh wow, a couple squirrels. This one here is gonna let us get close to him. Look at that, right up on him. There he is. There. He's probably wanting us to feed him something. And he's gone. So you can go up through that trail there, through the woods where the squirrels just went. Here's some seating area. If you would sit here, this is the view you would have. Oh, sitting down, just looking and taking in nature. That's a thing of beauty. Here we are. There's the top of where the stream was, another little sitting area with a gazebo area. If you're wondering where camera mom went and Jay, well, they're just having fun. So I took the camera over to show you some more scenic stuff, some more trails, some more woods. The beauty of this play escape and everything it's got the offer which i think is great and like i was saying for five bucks a person here at wesselman's uh wesselman's nature center play escape in evansville indiana i think it's well worth it but uh, i was just showing you the different stuff before we get to the major part that i'm really excited about now a lot of people say this is mainly for kids why are you doing this you know it, you know what i think it's for families and i think anybody can do it and have some fun so we're getting ready to go to the main part i'm going to meet back up with camera mom and uh jay and we're going to have camera mom take the camera back over because I'm going to get dirty. And you'll see what I'm talking about next. Okay, guys. So we're, we made it to the destination I'm really excited about. 
it, it may be just for kids more, but I'm going to get a little bit muddy. It's actually a mud pit that they've created, and they even got a little wash station there that you can use to rinse But off. there's a shower out there, though. And there is a shower, too, as well. So, uh, John, why don't you hop in? Okay. <laughs> we'll let John hop in, shall we? So you can just get in there and get muddy, roll around if you want to. And it's a really good exercise for the kids. Have fun in it. It's really neat. Did you want to get in there, camera mom? Yeah, but not right now. You're going to do it off camera? Yeah. Okay. She's going to do it off camera. So there's Jay climbing up the top I think there. they'll be okay, huh? Yeah. There's Jay. So this is this is what we're talking about when you come to the uh, Westman's Nature Center Playscape area. This is, this is just great. I mean, the mud pit, you've got the waterfall, or I mean, sorry, the waterfall with the water stream. You have the main, you have tons of sitting area. You've got all kinds of trails, and you can slide in mud and have fun. <laughs> so. Your butt, turn around. You're going to put some war paint on me? See, this is different because John doesn't, he doesn't do this. I don't like to do that type of stuff because I have sensitive skin, but that's okay. He doesn't do this I, stuff. I, I, I don't mind it. And, and I think this is a, like I was saying earlier, this is just a fantastic place to come out, enjoy the sun, enjoy nature. And uh, there's trails. And, it, and if you get too hot, you can always go back into the actual nature center and explore that again. There's even more stuff that we couldn't even show you because we just want to make the, don't make the video so long, but we wanted to give you the, at least broad picture of what this is all about and like I said you don't have to stick to the trails you can go off at the mud pit and there's Jay looks in camera mom John me I don't look as bad I didn't get all no. in it like they did but it, as you can see just real quick before we finish up the tour of the Wesselman's Nature Center Playscape uh, right here there's the Paul Bates um, is it Paul Bats, right? Bats, I think. Family outdoor classroom. So what that means is there are activities and stuff here. If we can see over here, you can sit there and they'll do like um, all kinds of, you know, activities and show you stuff of how to live, maybe outdoors, show you different rocks and what they might be. So that's that area. And just as we, are you guys coming? Yep. And just as we keep walking, this thing goes on forever. Like I said, it's three acres, I mean, it's huge. And as we finish up, there's a area up here, once again, with one of those little circular wood things. I don't think I ever got on top of one and showed you, so give me a second, and I'll get it right on up there. Stop, and now record. I am recording. No, no, no. No, this is how we're going to do it. Okay, okay. we're going to do it like this? Yeah. Okay, so this is another circular area where you can do an activity. It promotes climbing and someone having fun, so let me try to up here you gotta climb up but you gotta go to the next thing because your shoes watch yeah. yourself come on Nolly, let's Don't go fall. find the water oh, man. <laughs> pretty high up oh, wait, wait. so this is really cool and this is all part of the Westman's play escape Playscape. Oh, I always gonna, keep saying playscape like you try to escape. I don't know. <laughs> it's just a, just that's just what it is. I keep saying it that way, but it's playscape, and it's pretty cool. So, well, that's guys, yeah, you've got streams, you waterfalls, you trails, me. setting areas, Perfect. activities do, mud pit, and guess what? Can you see him? So, there he is. See, see He's still trying to put his shoes on. Him. Still trying to put his shoe on. You can do all that. For five dollars a person or fifty dollars a year for a family, I believe it's fifty dollars a year, right? There you go. Yeah. So cool. So. How are these sturdy? All right, guys. Because they stick them down in the ground real Here. far, and also there's a rod that they stuck in between and to often, hold them together. Off in the distance, guys. That would be the back this way. If we kept walking this way past this oh, last exhibit. The trail. Yeah, that would be the end of the trail, and we would be finished. So we're gonna go ahead and end the uh, video see. there, guys. Jay or John, come here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, comment. share. And guys, we really appreciate it. Uh, Ruby, make sure you're not cutting off my head. You're gonna have was. to. Was. You're gonna have to. There you go. There you go. So guys, thanks. Uh, you're doing it again. Thanks. <laughs> Don't leave fall. it like that. Leave it like that. Thanks, Elaine, from uh, Westman's Nature Center, the director here, and thanks, Welburn, for helping to donate your time and money and resources to get this going even more. 
And like I said, five bucks uh, a person or fifty dollars a year for a family pack is not bad. Come out and do it, Westman's Indiana, or Westman's Indiana, Evansville, Indiana, Westman's Nature Center, Westman's Playscape. Enjoy, guys. Have a good weekend. Have a good Memorial Day week. More Memorial Day. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.